afternoon, everybody. Deputy Coxon here with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Sorry we're late for the uh, tweet along, unforeseen circumstances. That happens in law enforcement. So we're gonna get started here. We're gonna be en route to a vehicle crash with injuries. Uh, any questions you have during the day, please tweet them. We'll answer as many as we can. And hopefully we'll get you into some exciting stuff today. So get the questions coming. So the question was, how do we mentally prepare for a crash with injuries called? There's really no way to prepare for it. Our main concern is getting to the scene safe, first of all, so we can help others. And once we're there, we assess the damage and assess the most injured right there. And uh, we take it, uh, take, our training just kicks into gear and then we just do what we have to do to get everybody safe. So we were just called off our vehicle crash with injury call and now we're headed to an assist other agency for Fernando County. Apparently they have a vehicle that's sitting in a parking lot with a stolen tag on it and the owner happens to live here in Pasco and they would like us to make contact and see uh, to get some information so they can talk. So again we're going to make contact with the uh, subject here at the house for Hernando County so they can uh, get in contact with her and they can uh, talk with her about why her tag's up there, why, why the vehicle's up there. Um, information's kind of sketchy right now, we don't have a whole lot of it, but we're just going to go make contact and see what happens. So we just wrapped up the assist other agency call for Hernando County. The subject that they wanted to speak to wasn't uh, here at the house. So we were able to obtain his phone number, pass it along to our teletype group, which will give that information to Hernando and they can finish their investigation. So right now we're going to head to the courthouse. We have an invest to go to and we'll explain more on that after our invest at the courthouse in the west side of Pasco. So the question was, what are my hobbies? Well, for obvious reasons and staying physically fit is the gym. It's a passion of mine and other hobbies, say wine tasting and I'm definitely a foodie. I will go anywhere to try a new restaurant, um, different foods. If it's on, been on Bizarre Foods, I want to try it. So we're here at the Pasco County Courthouse West Side, which is in Newport Mission. We're going upstairs to meet with the state attorney uh, for our invest on our case that happened a couple weeks ago. Any case that is a felony, we have to meet with the attorney in person to explain what happened. So we'll get back to you in a minute and we'll let you know what happened. So we're just finishing up here at the state's attorney's office on the west side of Pasco off in Newport Ritchie where I had an invest with the state's attorney. I told him the circumstances that surrounded the case. They took it accordingly and we'll be filing charges on the, the person that was arrested in that case. So the question is, what got me into law enforcement and what's my history? So in 1998, I started the police academy in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Uh, I got into law enforcement for the aspects of my friends, I lost the drugs. That was a driving force. But as I mature, the job matures, I've changed why I'm still in it. And that right now is for CPI calls, the Children Protection Calls. That is my passion and that's what drives me to do my job now. So we're coming up on scene of a welfare check, unknown condition of a man down. Um, subject was reported laying against the building, shallow breath, not moving. Um, it's an abandoned building, so we possibly have uh, just someone that was resting or it could be an unknown, maybe possible drug overdose. So we're gonna check on his condition and see what's up. Hi, I'm Deputy Erling, Pastor Sheriff's Office. This is Deputy Coxon, we're gonna let you know what just happened out here in 2019. So I was the backup unit assigned for uh, Deputy Erling here for a person down call. Uh, upon making contact with the subject, he was here charging his phone on this. With everybody we encounter out of here on the street, we check them through NCIC, FCIC, make sure that they don't have any wants or warrants. This individual did have a warrant out of uh, a neighboring county. We went to place handcuffs on him to detain him at a time he pulled away from us, struggled with us, and eventually was resisting our efforts to detain him. Uh, the struggle went to the ground where myself and Deputy Erling uh, were able to subdue him, get him secured in handcuffs, and we'll be uh, confirming his warrant and taking him out to Atlanta Lakes Jail. So we were waiting for confirmation on the subject's out-of-county warrant from Pinellas County for violation of probation for self-controlled substance. So during that time, he complained of minor aches and pains from resisting arrest and us uh, doing the arrest. Fire medics uh, came out here, checked them out, DMV was okay. So now that the warrant is confirmed, we're gonna be heading out to Lando Lakes so we can get them booked in. So stay tuned. 
So we just arrived here at the Pasco County Jail in Atlanta Lakes with our arrestee. So the process now is we're gonna walk him up in the booking area up there. Once he's in there, he will go through an x-ray machine to make sure he has nothing on him that I missed in the search. Otherwise, I'd be introducing contraband to jail. And afterwards, he'll uh, be booked into the system and then to see a judge for, for his uh, resisting without and extradited for his felony warrant out of the house. So we just left the jail and we dropped off the arrestee. Now we're property evidence because he had some property on a knife that you know, can't go into jail. So we're gonna drop that off. So before I go in there, time for a snack. I bring all my meals with me. I meal prep every day, healthy lifestyle. Um, plus fast food is just not my thing. So we have, usually have two lunches. We have pulled pork, vegetables and rice. And this one we have shrimp, sauteed uh, um, onions, mushrooms and some rice, yogurt, protein bars, oranges, you name it, I, I'm bringing it and I'm eating it. So about six meals a day, and then I'll go home and I'll eat another meal for dinner and probably a meal before bed. So always gotta eat healthy and lean. So the question was, where in the world I would like to travel? So my great grandmother is from Scotland and came over. So obviously it would be there. And also I did a little uh, heritage research uh, through Ancestry.com. So I'm Scottish and Irish and English, which is most people, but uh, definitely Scotland and Ireland. Um, definitely want to get over there and check out the beautiful countryside and stay in the castles or check them out. Not the touristy area, back in the country. So obviously those were the two places I'd like to go. So the question was, what is your most memorable moment in law enforcement? Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, one that just stands out right now when I was a different agency. Several years ago, I was en route to court um, and there was a car on the 95 bridge in uh, Maryland where I was at. Um, and it's about 200 foot drop. Saw a young lady, 17, 18 year old girl, standing next to the, uh, the, uh, the barrier. Well, it turns out after I got her off the bridge, um, there was a suicide note in her car. So if it wasn't for me passing that way, going to court, she probably would have jumped and ended her life. So just the stars aligned and making me be there at that moment just was uh, worked out in her favor and I got to save a life, whether I knew it or not at the time. So that would be my most memorable. Okay. So here at Pasco County Sheriff's Office property owners, we just got here and we put the arrestee's knife uh, in the bag and dropped it off here. Obviously you can't bring that into the jail. So we had to take it and we'll log it here until he comes and gets it. So we filled out our evidence tag and our evidence sheet, signatures on all ends where it's sealed. Filled out the property receipt and dropping it off to the ladies here and they'll take care of it. Hey, hey guys, appreciate you coming by and hanging out with us today. Sorry it was a little short, but it's been a hectic day. Now we're at the end of it. Keep following us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So if you guys have any questions, want to follow me, I'm on Instagram under deputy underscore Joey underscore C on the Instagram account. I'm the only one there that has that name, so don't be fooled if someone else tries to say they're me. So we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go eat my protein bar, and you all stay safe.